In this problem, we're asked to prove an identity uh, using partial fraction decomposition. So we're given this rather complicated looking integral, and we're asked to show that it equals this kind of, again, complicated uh, looking expression. So we're given, but everything's just in terms of A, B, uh, C, and D. And first thing that we want to do is just rewrite the integrand. So uh, let's write, say that the integrand is equal to, um, well, let's leave the top the same for the moment. So A plus C times X plus uh, AD plus BC. And we can notice that the bottom is actually just X plus uh, B times X plus D. Now we're going to use partial fractions to rewrite this. So we're going to assume that it has uh, the form, well, normally we would say A over X plus B plus B over X plus D, but we already have A and B defined, so let's use, um, how about alpha and beta instead? So we want to find constants alpha and beta um, in terms of A, B, C, and D, such that um, this integral, or this integrand is equal to alpha over x plus b plus uh, beta over x plus d. Now, if this is true, then we can find a common denominator and cross multiply. So x plus b times x plus d, the denominator. And in the numerator, we'll have alpha times x plus d plus beta times x plus b. And if we compare the, these two terms, so the first and the um, second in the inequality, which should be equals, not implies, uh, then let's compare the like terms and use those to solve for the coefficients alpha and beta. So this is equal to alpha plus beta times x plus alpha d plus beta b. Um, over x plus b times x plus d. And I'm running out of room, so I'll continue this up here. So remember that now that we're comparing this expression with this expression. And specifically, we're just comparing the numerator since we can just multiply both sides by x plus b times x plus d. Those would cancel out, so we know that the numerators must be equal. So since they must be equal, we can just match up the coefficients. The x coefficient on the left-hand side is a plus c. Um, so this means that a plus c is equal to alpha plus beta, which is the x coefficient on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, we have ad plus bc. And that must be equal to alpha d plus beta b. I'll just rewrite this so it's lined up. And let's see, now to solve for alpha and beta, we can either use substitution or elimination. Uh, I think I'm going to go with elimination here. So let's multiply by, uh, let's say, negative d. So this becomes negative AD um, minus CD becomes negative alpha D. And this becomes negative beta D. So now if we add these together, uh, the ADs cancel out and it leaves us with BC minus CD. And on the right-hand side, the alpha d is cancel out, and we have beta d or beta b minus beta d. So we can factor out a c on the right side, 
at least this with c times b minus d. And on the right side, you can take out beta. And that leaves us with beta minus d. So now we have beta minus d on both sides. So we can cancel those out. And this implies that c is equal to beta. Now we can use that to figure out what alpha is. It's, um, so let's use the original equation here before we multiplied by negative d. So remember that we had a plus c is equal to uh, d, or excuse me, alpha uh, plus beta. Well, we know that beta is equal to c. So since beta is equal to c, this just means that a plus c is equal to uh, alpha plus c. And we can subtract c from both sides, and that shows us that alpha um, is equal to a. So that takes care of the, uh, the partial fraction decomposition. And now we're left with actually doing the integral. So let's rewrite this integral using the decomposition that we just found. Uh, so I'm going to put a, um, star there. So the integral or star is equal to uh, the integral of, we said that it would be 1 over, or it would be alpha over x plus b plus beta over x plus d, uh, dx. Well, we know alpha is just equal to a. And we know that beta is just equal to c. So now we can just take this integral. Uh, Using a linearity, we do it term by term, factor out the constant. We end up with a times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus beta. Uh, or excuse me, this should be x plus b. Because when we did the partial fraction uh, decomposition, uh, we simplified this to x plus b times x plus d. So this is a times the natural log of x plus b plus c times the natural log of x plus d. And of course, we need to add a constant, but instead of adding the usual c, we can't do that since c is already taken. We'll just add k. And now if you check, you see that this is exactly um, what we were trying to come up with. We were trying to show that this integral is equal to this expression. We showed that it's in fact, is equal. We have a natural log of x plus natural log of the absolute value of x plus b plus c times the natural log of x plus d plus k.